So I'm upsetting the end a little bit on the, the bar to prep for the weld on each end. Um, I figured out the length of material before this using the 10 inch diameter that we're going to have for the finished outside diameter. Use the center line of that ring, which is actually 9 inch diameter, times 3.14 is your overall length. Um, and then uh, add at least twice the thickness of the material. That'll get you kind of in the ballpark. You probably end up making a couple of these to get exactly the, the right size because you know, everybody does things a little bit different and you, know, you lose a little on the weld and whatever. So prepping the weld here on this end. Go upside a little bit and scarf the end. I have it angled a little bit because the outside of the ring is longer than the inside, so it needs to be a little bit longer on that outside edge. That scarf is actually a little longer on the outside than it needs to be, but you, know, you need a little of that. So off to the side there, you can see a piece of sheet metal with a circle drawn on it, and I'm using that to compare this bend against. So as I roll this around, I can make sure that it's the right size. The closer you get it at this point, the easier it makes everything else. If you have a cone mandrel that you can drop this over and screw everything up, it makes it easy. You can just kind of do a real rough ring, get the end stuck together, and drop it on the cone mandrel and screw it all up. If you don't, it's a lot better to, you know, make it you know, pretty much right on all the way as you go. And then when you get the ends welded, it doesn't take much to clean it up. You can use the weight of the material actually to kind of act as a hammer in the middle section by just, you know, hitting it over the anvil like that. It'll bend it where it's hot. Well, the horseshoe is trick. <laughs> about halfway there now. At some point, you're going to get to the point where you have to have a pair of tongs to finish it up. So if you have a straight end to hang on to, you, know, you have better control. And I'm flipped it around and working on the other end. You can see I already prepped the scarf. Same thing. It's a little longer than it needed to be. So just need to have that much angle on the ends. Lots of trial and adjustment as you go along to match that circle.
And then bend in this. You don't want to hit it against the anvil. You're hitting past the anvil to make it bend. If you hit it on the anvil, you're going to forge the material and make it thinner and longer. And you're trying to just bend it, not make it longer. Trying to get that end adjusted so it's right on the line on the chalk there, on the chalk line. And you can see I've had to get a pair of tongs so I can hang on to it to bend the middle and bring the ends together. Remember, it's going to bend where it's hot. So if you have a kind of a flat spot, that's where you want to get it hot. So the bend will go there and not someplace else. Looks like you didn't need hardly at all. I think it's pretty close. When you get to the point where you've got it together and ready to weld, you actually want it a little bit smaller than your chalk ring because when you weld it, you're going to stretch it a little bit. After it's welded, it's a lot easier to, to uh, stretch it than it is to try to make it smaller. I find when I'm welding like this, if I use a hammer with a rounder face, it's much easier to get the weld. If it's a really flat face, a lot of times it'll kind of seal in stuff in the center instead of you know, pushing it out. It's also a lot easier to blend that little edge in with the rounder face. Once you get it welded, you want to, you know, get it back down to the, the quarter inch thickness and that set that weld area. Hopefully you haven't made it a lot thinner on either side of the weld and then uh, start truing up that curve. It's probably going to take you two or three rings to get it <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> like most of these projects, you know, you, you kind of do the math, try to get halfway close, and then you figure out what you need to adjust to make it right next time. <laughs> 